Testing, testing, testing. Testing, one, two. Testing. Testing, testing. Got this on it?
Bo,
तो तेरा दर दन जाने को बाहर के सो का मोस रहे तू बीकर भी कर रोए बीकर भी कर रो तेरा डर दन जाने को तेरा डर दन जाने को कह न सटे तू अपनी कहानी तेरी विपन क्या जिंदगानी रे कह न सटे तू अपनी कहानी तेरी विपन क्या जिंदगानी रे बिजली तेरी कटहल से सो आस में कलम सो वो तेरा दर दन जाने को जाने को तेरा डर दन जाने को इंजरी के पन छीरे तेरा डर दन जाने को तेरा डर दन जाने को गंधम चंदलम पुष्पमाला दीपम यम द्वारे महाघोर अंधेना तम साबरिते भगवती
आज राघो हमारी बंसी बजाने वाली हरी अब आओ कृष्णा पार करो दुनिया है एक गहरी नदी जैसे गोपियन के माखन खाओ जैसे गोपियन के माखन खाओ वैसे दर्शन दिन हमारे गाँव चराने वाले हरी अब आओ कृष्णा पार करो दुनिया है एक गहरी नदी चंद्र सखी बिन जी कर जोरे चंद्र सखी बिन जी कर जोरे भव सागर की पार उतारो श्री कृष्ण नाम वाले हरि भव सागर की पार उतारो श्री कृष्ण नाम वाले हरि अब आओ कृष्ण पार करो एक बार बोलो अयोध्या पति रामचंद्र की प्लीज ज्वाइन विथ मी जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम एवरीबॉडी जय राम श्री राम जय 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 राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय 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 राम श्री राम जय जय राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम रघुपति राघव अजा राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति पावन सीताराम पतित पावन सीताराम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय मंगल भवन अमंगल हारी मंगल भवन अमंगल हारी मंगल भवन मंगल हारी द्रव सुदस रथ अजर बिहारी द्रव सुदस रथ अजर बिहारी जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय 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 राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम एक 
बार बोलो अयोध्यापति रामचंद्र की जय पंडित जी एक बार बोलो श्री वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय ऑफिशियट इन व्यास माय कजन राधिका मेंबर्स ऑफ द इमीडिएट फैमिली वेल विशेस ईच एंड एवरीवन इट इज विद अ वेरी हैवी हार्ट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दिस फैमिली एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द पंडित ऑफ द फैमिली द गुरु I take the opportunity to welcome and thank each and every one of you for sharing this time of grief, this time of uncertainty. लेकिन अब मैं क्या करूँगा? हम क्या करेंगे? What can we do? What can I do? We can all pray. Having known Inder practically about almost forty years ago. what can we say what can we say about this young man except the word an exemplar in all fields an exemplar in all fields and he was so you know noticed by one particular aspect and that is where everybody he would address them or in a particular way very comically do as bhutar he learned that word from my mousy his mother in law bhutar <laughs> today bhutar it is with a sad heart that i will not be hearing that word again from you and the way you would actually say it there's a particular way you say it you say boy them bhutar i don't know na and the you and i are very cognizant of the fact that when we are chanting mantras he would be reciting the mantras he would recite in whatever stutis or stotrams or prayers whatever and you get tell me sometime you say why don't worry about that i'm kind of words from you know but <laughs> bhutar today we have to say it for you today we have to say it for you keep in with the interest of time and mind i will tell you all something afterwards but please join with me in this particular bhajan radhika this bhajan says we have come for two days on this world in this world alongside with me you were there and one day to come i took my flight what could i say that is in my heart what could i tell you except that i love you and that our lives should be together again in janma after janma holding my hand and you took me along all the hurdles the happiness the trying times and not so trying times today but a heavy heart i sing this for you you too will sing along with me aaj suno hum geet pe daaka ga rahe दो दुखिया रे पंछी बिछड़े जा रहे प्लीज ज्वाइन विथ मी आज सुनो हम 
गीत बेदाका गारे दो दुखियारे पंची बिचरे जारे आज सुनो हम गीत बेदाका गारे यारे पंची बिचरे जारे बहुत दिनों के साथ हाँ जुदा होंगे हम सुम आखड़ियों में आंसू आज सुनो हम गीत बेदा का गारे दो दुखियारे पंची बिचरे अलग अलग राहों पर चल दिए दो प्राण देर दे जगने इनकी पीर नहीं जाने आज पुराने सुख के दिन याद रहे दो दुखियारे पंची बिचरे जा कोई मत पूछो कौन है क्यों ये रोते हैं इस जग में ऐसे भी अभाग होते हैं लुट गए फिर भी दिल का दर दर छिपा रहे दो दुखियारे पंची बिचरे जारे आज सुनो हम गीत बेदा का गारे दो दुखियारे पंची बिचरे जा दो दुखियारे पंची बिचरे जारे Some years ago, Inder had a close call where he had a massive heart attack, and from then he'd been not fighting with life, but as he stepped along, he became, you know, um, affected by natural causes and so on. But more than anything else was the support of his wife and the children, and more so, his wife. She is whom I will describe as a Pativrata. There was no point in time that nothing happened to him, that she would not attend to him or look after him or see to him, including the final days. When I learned of what happened and what took place and what she would do to make him comfortable and whatnot and so on, Radhika, indeed, you have done your part where Pativrata, honor and worship of the husband is. I am sure the Devis and them is purely jealous of you. I'm not making no fun about that. Whatever you could have done, you have done exemplary, ably supported by members of your family, relatives, pundit, and everyone else. And in a modern day setting, how could I describe this aspect of love between the both of you?
जब कोई बात बिगड़ जाए जब कोई मुश्किल पर जाए तुम देना साथ मेरा ओ हम नवाज न कोई है न कोई था जिंदगी में तुम्हारे सिवा तुम देना साथ मेरा ओ हम नवाज वो चांद नी जब तक रात देता है हर कोई था जिंदगी थी अंधेरों ने ना छोर न मेरा जब कोई बात भी गर जाए जब कोई मुश्किल पर जाए तुम देना साथ मेरा ओ हम नवाज टाइम Never time that you did not exist, nor exist, nor will not continue to exist along with him, holding his hand. You tread along the pathway of life. Let us clasp our hands as I conclude. Om Anadini Dhanu Deva, Shankar Chakra Gadadhara, Akshaya Pundari Kaksha, Preeta Moksha Pradu Bhava. Om Krishna Krishna Kripalu Tungati Ranamgati Irbhava, Samsara Maganam Prasida. पुरुषोत्तम एक बार बोलो श्री वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय धन्यवाद थैंक यू सीताराम हाउ डू आई समराइज सिक्सटी फोर इयर्स ऑफ ए लाइफ वेल लिव्ड ए लाइफ डेडिकेटेड टू धर्मा ए लाइफ फुल ऑफ लव एंड लाइट इन जस्ट टेन मिनट्स I can only try, and I hope I do you justice, Daddy. When I say my father was born and bred proud as a Rangmazirian, it is no exaggeration. It was in this very yard on Thursday, the 29th of August, 1957, Indarjit Ramkisun was born to my late grandparents, Vasudev and Maxila Ramkisun. He was not only the second son, but also the second of nine children. He grew up in the original structure of this yard, fondly remembered as the old house, and I'm certain his navel string is buried somewhere here. He spent his early childhood years growing up very close to his aji, aunts, and uncles, and I mean, all then hesitated in spoiling him. He also shared a special bond with his two siblings, closest in age, Robin and Vashti. It was right here, surrounded by a large extended family, he would learn one of his most invaluable lessons that he lived by for the rest of his life, the value of family. Daddy attended primary school at the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School and then went on to high school at Sawa Secondary School. Daddy's love for each of his siblings was unparalleled. He fondly had nicknames for each of them, which I can't get into into this forum. He was not only a brother, but also a driver, friend, confidant, and protector. While his brothers Robin, Rudy, Roll, and Rodney were indeed all there to him, I believe it was his sisters Vashti, June, Lisa, and Pinky that could truly melt his heart. Daddy would often lament growing up in this yard with his siblings with some of the best years of his life. From his teenage years, he was always at his parents' side. ready and willing to fulfill his duties while he shadowed aja absorbing and learning everything about the family business he also seeked ruti in the kitchen with aji it was no surprise that daddy soon became a huge and major support to his father not only in the business but also in life as the family would temporarily move on to degomatan i remember daddy telling me that he would make the drive from degomatan to arangwes via the saddle road route to check up on the construction progress but i'm pretty sure it was he missed his hometown or maybe a certain neighbor on february 26 1984 a barat would leave this yard and travel only a short distance to the corner of this street in the savanna right opposite here my father would make my mother radhika his dharam patni it was the beginning of the rest of his life and the end of his ruti seeking in days the foundation of their marriage was yes love 
but also a strong sense of duty to God and Dharma, family, their community, and each other. I know many will recall how inseparable they were from the onset. Their social calendar was always booked, sometimes attending multiple functions on the same day or even taking them to a different country, whether it was a Ramayan, Bhagwat, Hardy night, wedding, funeral, bandara, engagement, barhi, or a family gathering. You name it, Indar and Radhika were always there together. That's how I know to my parents, and I am grateful that I grew up a part of this and has truly enriched my life. I was born in 1985, the first son and child to my parents, and I learned quickly through my father's lead the value of family and living your life according to Dharma. I fondly remember our morning drives to school where he would always use the time to impart life lessons to me, a practice I now do with my th children. 12 years later, my younger brother Vivek was born. What I remember about that day was the doctor having to bring a very tiny Vivek to daddy for him to see proof he was really a boy. You see, up until that day, daddy was convinced it was a girl. But despite a small squabble and being clad in pink from head to toe, Vivek quickly took his place as daddy's baby. Daddy cemented himself as a stalwart and icon in Arangwe's area, serving in various capacities. He was one of the founding members of the Let's Laugh Sports and Cultural Club. Their motto was God is truth and truth is God, and hosted numerous cultural shows, Diwali celebrations, yagnas in the Arangwe's Park. This would have ignited Daddy's desire to serve his community through religion and culture. He served as the president of Swaha branch Um Shakti Mandali for over 25 years. Living opposite the temple was a welcome convenience as this yard would double as parking for devotees. While carrying out his executive duties, mommy was always by his side supporting him. Daddy cherished all the friendships and bonds he formed with the temple members over the years and looked forward to it weekly. Daddy would have served as president of the Om Shakti Mandali up to his passing. Additionally, he was a board member of the National Ramlila Council of Trinidad and Tobago for many years often recognized recognized for his outstanding work with the Ramlila Festival over the years. He was a man who was interested in keeping his cultural, ethical, and spiritual values alive. This didn't stop with his service, as he always carried a quest for knowledge. The notes on his cell phone have over 500 Hindi words and phrases, numerous mantras, countless quotes from pundits, and directions on how to perform various religious acts. I would often recall him excitedly telling me of a new word or phrase he learned or sitting in prayers and hearing, hearing him recite all the mantras at the same time as Pandaji. This was a huge part of his life. In September 1998, Daddy started a new career. After obtaining the relevant qualifications, he joined Guardian Life of the Caribbean as an agent at the Lennox Barrow branch in Shugonas. He enjoyed his 23-year career at Guardian Life and forged many friendship over the years. He was lovingly called Beto and looked forward to his afternoon tea breaks with Mr. Wong and Uncle Aline, as well as many social functions inside and outside the office. He never had a daughter, but in 2006, he gained two, my wife, Farina, and his first grandchild, Anu. He never referred to Farina as his daughter-in-law, but his daughter. After becoming a grandfather, I think it was very safe to say Vivek and I took the back seat. He lived for Anu and Arav and called them his two eyeballs. He loved being their Aja and took his role very serious, always showered them with love and imparting his wisdom. He was very active and present in their lives. I think anyone who knows Daddy will agree that he was one of the kicksiest persons you will know. This man had the most original sense of humor ever. With a wide vocabulary of his own making, he had a name for everyone and everything. Just last night, we, we were laughing at some of them. He would say, exact, butter, garbage, harakati, <laughs> butter, things wrong, to name a very few. Always knew how to effortlessly make light of any situation really, and rarely got upset. Daddy was what you call old school, cut from the cloth of tradition and values, where man's word was his bond. 
His mind was sharp, often calculating in his head the total of his bill to the cent with taxes before reaching the cashier at any grocery or store he visited. He was truly remarkable to witness. I soon realized that his happiness lay in the happiness of his loved ones around him. His enjoyment was being around family, and he especially looked forward to his trips to Canada and New York to visit his siblings. Year after year, he could have gone to many different places, but chose to be with family. Over the past few days, countless persons who knew Daddy reached out to us. I couldn't help but notice a recurring theme. To everyone, he was favorite brother, favorite cousin, best uncle, best nephew, greatest co-worker, and friend. Today, I add to his accolade, in front of everyone, best husband, best father, and best grandfather. Daddy was the constant in our lives. He was the definition of selfless. The one who was there, the one we can depend on, the one with the answers, the one with, who had all the contact numbers, the one with know-how, he was everything to everyone, and everything he did was out of his pureness of his heart. Thank you, Daddy, for teaching us true selflessness. Daddy left his Brooklyn for a happy and fulfilled life. Such is the legacy of Indarjit Ramkisun, one that Vivek and I hope to carry on, even though we know the shoes he left for us to fill is already bigger than ours combined. We can only strive to do him proud. As I conclude, I would like to summarize and share some of the lessons Daddy has imparted to me simply from the life he led. Live humbly, live with humility, live in service, and love your family. Thank you, Daddy. I will never forget. Guitar. Hi, Sita Ram everyone. For those who do not know me, my name is Anna Ramkisun, and I am the granddaughter of Indrajit Ramkisun. We've all gathered here today to honor the life of a remarkable man. If anyone met Aja, you would know he was smart, kind, and caring, and a generous man. His charming personality left a lasting impression on each and every one of us. Hearing the news about Aja, it was truly devastating. Everything seemed so surreal. I felt sick to my stomach. He had such a significant impact on me that I will never forget him. He was a pivotal figure in my life. I, tru not, I truly cannot imagine my life without him, and I don't think I would be here today if, if it wasn't for him. Ajo was one person I knew that would go out of his way to help others, especially with his family. He was naturally a benevolent person to everyone, he was, to everyone around him. His generosity was one of his most admirable traits. Ajo was also just someone you could always count on, no matter the situation. If school lets out early, the first person I would call is Aja. Whether or not Aja was feeling well, he would make it his mission to drop and pick me up from school every day. Of course, everyone made sure he was okay, but he insisted he wanted to. Aja was a devoted follower of his religion and an active member in the community. He was, a, he was pivotal in ensuring our attendance at temple service. Being the spiritual man he is, he always suggests to learn more about our religion. Now, if anyone knew Aja, they would know that he was a man with his own dictionary. Aja had a name for everyone and everything. But the greatest part was hearing him say them. They were just a thousand times funnier coming from him. Oh, and I, I can't forget how he would call me his mama. Aja had such a tremendous amount of love for Arab and I. I'll never forget the morning car rides to school when we'd always... And we'd always listen to the panchayat on the radio. And when it was time for the viewers to vote, Aja would recall the voices of all the people in the areas. I will miss all the love he showered me with. I'll miss hearing his voice calling me mama. He, will, he was always there for me, and I don't know life without him. I know that I will miss him more than words can express. He always did everything he could for us and give us an absolute love, love that we will never forget. I wish we could have had... I wish we could have spent more time together, but I will forever cherish it as I have with him. I love you so much, Adra. Hey, everyone. My name is Ara Ramkisu. 
grandson of Intelligent Robinson. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of an amazing man. Adria was a kind lo and loving grandfather. My Adria always showered us with, his, with all his affection. It was often said that Anu and I were his two eyeballs, being his own two grandchildren. Adria made us it made it his mission to come downstairs every day whether he was feeling well or not just to see us. Adria was always there for us regardless of the situation or circumstance. He drove me to school and even carried me to have my hair cut and bought me ice cream afterwards. He was kind to those around him and shared a strong love for his family. Adria gave us everything we wanted and spoiled us rotten. Every time he would go to the grocery, he always picked up our favorite snacks. I know that all his friends and family miss him very much. When we heard the news, my family and I burst out into tears and everything felt unreal. All his family and friends have such a special love for him. They will all miss his presence in our lives. He would always call me his papa or his silly banga. I miss him very much and his humorous jokes that make us laugh. I miss how he used to call us Mama and Papa. I miss his daily visits and even when he would kiss me during my online classes. I miss the abundance of kisses and hugs he showered us with. I will miss his strong presence in my life. I wish I would have gotten to spend more time with him, but all I will always treasure this time time we spent together. I love you so much, Aja. Right. Sit down, everyone. We want to come in and thank very highly those who sang and those who spoke on behalf of the, this individual whom we have come to love so very much as we would call him Inder. We didn't go to hold him Inderjit Ramkisun, Inder. Now, we have heard a lot about his life, his contribution, etc. I'll want to put it together in this way. Lying before us are immortal remains of an individual well known and well loved by all of us. He has made a sterling contribution in five areas and which we are all supposed to do. The culture, country, the culture, the community, the family, and to the society as a whole. You heard the contributions he made. And that's very true, very sterling, very meaningful. So I'm not going to that. I will go just go. I think we need to speak a little more about his contribution to the structure opposite us, Om Shakti Mandir. You heard he was president for over 25 years. That is very true, and that's a record. Maybe for the Guinness Book, Book of World Records, we can check that. In addition, he served in various capacities. He was well loved by members of the temple. He never forgot their birthdays, the anniversaries, and whatever else there was. He took part in all the functions, all the festivals, and he was a driving force. Together, Radhika, we must not forget that. She supported him tremendously in every endeavor. And for that, Radhika, we tell you to be proud of you, and we urge that you will continue, because he would want that. He would want that. There's no doubt about it. Now, each time we had service, the first person I would greet and I would meet is Inder, all dressed, standing right by the doorway there. And to me, the devotees, he was such a hospitable person, a welcoming person. Of that, there is no doubt. So we can say a lot. I know time is of the essence. I shall move on to, let's go to the ceremony. So as I said, life is birth and death, pairs of opposites. This earth is called Mrityulok, the planet of death. Whatever is born here, dies right here. Life ends in death, what rise will fall. So the time came for departure. 
Where the soul is, I don't know, nobody knows, but God knows. And we will pray in a short while that, O oh Lord, having come from you, may he return to you. And give him all that he needs in the new journey of life to continue to make life make sense. He has left behind wonderful memories. And I must say his family, with Radhika, supported him fully. So much so that whenever we have tapings, Vivek would be there to do the tapings for IETV. So they have made a contribution. I've said it before. Whatever is ceremony, we see it. And I would like to offer a bit of explanation about some of the activities performed. I will go to the mala. The garland is given, the mala of flowers, an expression of love, of sympathy, of care, and etc. But what does it really signify? You would have noticed the garland was burst. How would it look if each time we have to put a mala around his neck and we lifted his neck and put it around him? I leave you to draw your own conclusion. But we don't do that. So we burst the garland and place it around his neck. The flowers in that mala represent the life spans. We don't know how many lives we, we had before, how many we have yet to come. So when we burst it, it signifies the end of this life. And the other flowers represent the other lives. How do we understand that? We go to reincarnation. Hinduism is the only religion, and I say it loudly and clearly, that offers a plausible, satisfactory explanation as to what life is all about. Let me give an example. If two babies are born now, one goes to a home where they are provided all the amenities and facilities, another one goes to a home where they can't find food, proper accommodation, and so much more. If God is loving and God is just and God is kind, how can anybody on the face of this earth, here and elsewhere, explain the inequalities between two babies who are innocent and they're just born? They're perhaps in the same hospital, same doctor, etc. but look at what happens to them. It means that there's a past, and the past influences the present, and the present will also influence the future. So this is the concept of reincarnation. What re in there was, we don't know. What he'll become, we don't know. But what we do know, we do the best that we can. The past is history. The future is a mystery. The present is our opportunity. Do the best that we can in this life. Do all the good that we can. Good can only bring good. And Indra has done just that. So each of the flower represents a lifespan. We don't know how many. We just make a mala with an X number of flowers, and it represents the lifespan before, leading straight to the point of reincarnation. Now, let's go to another aspect of this ceremony. The tulsi leaf placed on the lip. Tulsi is a religious plant, a sacred plant. Hinduism believes in the importance of the environment, like everybody else, I guess. But we go a little step further. We deify the environment, the plants, and whatever else that there is. In an attempt for man to have respect for the environment. And now the world, from time to time, will have serious meetings concerning environmental pollution, environmental preservation, and so much more. We have been showing that. By the respect we show to our plants, in our puja places, in our bathing, in our temple, in our homes, and wherever. The tools in particular, I want to give you a little challenge. If you have a tap running with dirty water, fill it with a lota or any container. Put one tool leaf in it. Leave it for two hours and see the effect of the tool leaf on that impure water. So the tools here have the ability and capability to make what is impure pure. In addition, it helps to prevent the putrefaction and the decay of the body because once the soul leaves, then it starts to break down. So the tools is placed there to preserve 
the body, at least for a while, and to bring purity to the ceremony. So those who say chuti haran son, that old time thinking, they're not right in the head. This is purity all the way. And what are we going to do with this body? Perform hawan. And what is hawan? That's another topic I we're not going to know. So those are just two. There's a lot more. If ever you wish to find out more, whatever, feel free to call, talk, come, meet, whatever. So this ceremony is very significant, very meaningful, and it should be done by one and all. We are not even speaking about the Bhandara ceremony, the shaving ceremony, and so much more. Let's come now to life. As you are aware, this planet is a miracle look, what is born will die. The question was one asked by Guruji to his followers. What is the most difficult thing? What is the greatest loss that you have suffered in life? And all of them said, when my father died, when my mother died, when my sister died, when my friend died, Guruji listened to them. And then he said, my friends, I understand what you're saying. But I will tell you what the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss in life is that which we lost while alive. Let me make it simple. So I am living. If at the present time I have lost the concept of love, respect, and all of these values, then that's the greatest loss in life. That's the greatest loss. That's the departure of the soul. That's a progressive movement. Death is but a progressive aspect of life because he's going on to reincarnate whatever God knows. But the greatest loss is that which we lost while alive. And therefore, the message for all of us, ensure while we are alive, we don't lose the concept of the values of respect and love and devotion and humility and all of these things that Inder exemplified powerfully while he was alive. And those who know him can support what I'm saying. So there's a lot, so much more that can be said. All right. We don't. Hmm? Good. <laughs> all right. So I do not wish to go any further. So we have with us now two pandits who just joined us, Pandit Vinayak and Pandit Chandradev. We shall ask them, as Pandit Rudy did his part, we shall ask Pandit Chandradev and Pandit Vinayak, please come. You all know India very well. You have been to the temple a number of times. And here now, whether it's a song, a mantra, a prayer, whatever, it's up to you. Sit down, everyone. I'm guessing by now a lot of you would have spoken a bit about Inder. And I truly believe as he lived his life uh, serving the Mandir and you know, knowing him for my whole life, seeing him, interacting with him, I think the best thing that we can do for him at this moment is to join with me in prayer. Uh, so I ask all of you to please put your hands together, close your eyes, think of Bhagwan Sri Krishna, pray in your own way, in your own words for Inder, obviously through Bhagwan's grace and uh, his timing, he saw it fit that Inder must leave his mortal coil. And we pray for him, for his journey, wherever he may be, whatever his journey is, if he have to reincarnate, whatever form he, he must take, may we pray and ask Bhagwan Krishna to continue to bless him, guide him, protect him, and may he shower all that he needs to have a happy, healthy life. Om Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kansa Chanura Mardanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum Krishna Krishna Mahayogin Bhaktanam Abhayankara Govinda Paramananda Sarvameva Shamanaya Om Shri Krishna Govinda in Munam Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Om Atma Shanti, Om Atma Shanti, Om Atma Shanti. Bole Shri Vrindavan Vihari Laliki.
respected VS Pandit Balaramji, family, friends, devotees of the family, Sitaram. I'll just simply take some verses from chapter two of the Bhagavad Gita, where actually Krishna Bhagwan is given words of encouragement to Arjuna to go out and do his duty. Arjuna is a bit reluctant in the battlefield in taking the lives of those on the opposite side, that is his family, his friends, and his comrades. But Sri Krishna Bhagwan is telling Arjuna, oh Arjuna, there's no need to mourn that which cannot die because the soul, it is birthless, it is timeless, it is free from birth and death, it is indestructible, it is imperishable, it is eternal, immortal, and everlasting. And therefore, you do not need to mourn that which cannot die. But devotees, I know that when you have that love and attachment for someone, it is hard not to mourn. But Shri Krishna Bhagwan continues to Arjuna and, tell, and, and, and speaks to him, and he says that the soul, it is all pervading. And similarly, he makes the comparison, when we discard our clothing that has become worn out and tattered, we ourselves remain unchanged. And similarly, devotees, the soul seeks a new body after it has used this body, and itself remains unchanged. He continues further, and he says to Arjuna, the soul, it cannot be burned. It cannot be wet. Weapons cannot cut it. And it is, again, everlasting. So, as we pray for the Atma of our dearly departed brother, Endar, I ask you to chant in your minds, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, and focus on the divine form of Sri Krishna Bhagwan. Om Krishnaya Vasudevaya, Devaki Nandanaya Cha, Nanda Gopakumadaya Govindaya Namo Nama. Om Devaki Nandanaya Vidmahi, Vasudevaya Dimahi, Tanu Krishna Prachodaya. Om Shri Krishna Namo Nama. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Ram Nam Satyahe. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pandit Vinayak and Pandit Chandradev. Rajiv just informed me that Uncle Pope is here. And so the request of the family that he also come and express his sentiments. When you see me, realize that a band needs no introduction. Uncle Pope. Robert Pandits. Sitaram, having, having been asked to speak at the last, there is very little I have to say. And then Rodi has explained quite a bit of uh, what we knew of, of Inder. And for those who probably don't know me, I am the sister, sorry, <laughs> Radhika. Radhika's mother is my sister. Right, so, so we are, are really very, very close. Quite a number of things, if I had been asked earlier to say, was said by Pandit Rudi about Indar. And I, I don't want to repeat, but there's one thing that was left out, that uh, Indar was very picky about his food. He was real trouble when it came to, to food and eating. No, some of you may know I'm attached to the Diwali Nagar. He came almost every year to Diwali Nagar at the opening when we usually served our India style dinner every Diwali Nagar. And I would just refuse and will not come inside the hall. Sorry. He will not come inside the hall to, to partake of this uh, India style food. His preference, he will go down to the food court, buy doubles, buy roti and choka and aloo and this kind of thing. That's one of the things that was, that was really left. I'm sure that um, we are going to miss him. And I would just like to offer again my condolences to the entire family. We will surely miss him. Um, thinking that somebody might ask me to say a few words, I kept a little bit of a Coat, it's just a coat. And this, which I would like to say to you, I'm sure most of you would have heard it. It's taken from Gitanjali by Rabindranath Tagore. And I quote I have got my leave. Bid me farewell, my brothers. I bow to you all and take my departure. Here, I give back the keys of my door 
and I give up all claims to my house. I only ask for last kind words from you. We were neighbors for long, but I received more than I could give. Now the day has dawned and the lamp that lit my dark corner is out. A summons has come and I am ready for my journey. End of quote. I pray to see Lord Vishnu that he takes good care of Indira, wherever he may be. Shukriya. Thank you. Thank you very much, Uncle Pope. Okay. We shall have how much? 25 minutes again. All right. Huh? Okay. All right, good. Time with my friend. <laughs> so I will use the few minutes we have left to share a few other thoughts with you. Radhika, we want to give you this assurance from us, people in the same village, people whom we have grown up with, mem members of the same temple, fellow devotees, that we are here for you. All the members, they love you all. They appreciate the contributions you have made. And feel free to call upon the temple at any time if you need that kind of assistance. To the two boys, two sons, Rajiv and Vivek, and this grandson, what is his name? Param. Arav. Okay, sorry. So Arav and other members, you have lost a great soul. Remember the words we said? But now what matters is your mother. None of us will know what it is to live with someone for X number of years, and one morning when your hand stretched so it's empty, the bed is empty, your heart is empty, your life becomes empty. It's a shocking, painful experience. So my advice to both of you, all of you, you have to fill that life. Not that you can do it the way he did it, but in your own way. Ensure that you're there for your mother, because if she falls ill, take her to the best doctor, that's good. But how far will that go? I'm not knocking medical doctors. They're doing a great job in the pandemic and out of the pandemic. We need them. But remember the kind of sustenance and support and sacrifice you can give to a mother in this situation would be superior, very supreme. If you buy medication, give it to her, she could take it, it might work for a while. But you see the love, the care, the consideration, and the tender words, and I repeat that, tender words, I'm not saying it at ball up the lady, I'm saying tender words, you know, there's a tender words, a gentle touch, and a sweet smile, Nothing could pay for that. And you know what? It's free. Always give that to your mother and to each other. She now becomes, in the absence of your father, both mother and father. So understand how difficult the role is for her now. A dual role. Be there for her at all times. Don't put anything above her. She comes first. Pratham Guru Mata. The first guru in this world is your mother. That's what the scriptures say. Then the scriptures say again, Satyam Mata Pita Gyanam. Truth, Satyam Mata. Truth is my mother, Pita Gyanam. Knowledge is my father. So the knowledge has gone in the form of your father, but knowledge never dies. There's all life is a lifelong learning of experiences and knowledge. So when you support your mother, you're supporting truth. And without truth, there's no foundation. Our religion is Satyam Sautyam Dayadan, basic principles. Satyam E Jayate, truth and truth alone will prevail. And our religion is Sanatan Dharam. Eternal principles which are everlasting and good for all times. So Radhika, we're commending them to in your hands, your care. We know you're capable, look after them. And Farina, you also have a duty to perform towards your husband. He will have to get a little closer to his mother if he wasn't that close or if he was too close. Do not allow anything to come in the way. He's doing his duty as a son. You do your duty as a daughter, a daughter-in-law. 
And these are very important aspects when someone, the head of the family, dies. We tend to forget these aspects of it. So, both of you are required to show that same love and care and attention to your mother. And I just want to share a little incident about the greatness of a father, and then I'll conclude. There's a village in India, and this man had a daughter. Wife passed away a long time. So in that village, there were no schools. The girl reached school age. He wanted to send her for education. And there's one thing we must commend our ancestors for. They understood the importance of education. Education for liberation. If I wish to be liberated, I have to be educated. And they ensured that we all went to school and made something of our lives. And we must continue that with our families. I know saying education alone is an important aspect. So this father understood that, and he looked around. There were no schools, so he said, you know what? I'll never send my daughter in the town. And if you know anything about India, town is not three miles away like how here is, you know. Miles and miles and miles and miles away. So he took her, found a suitable school where she could stay, and so her education started. She believed the words of her father. She took her education seriously, and she was able to qualify. After that, she got a job. I want to ask all of you here, can you remember what you did with your full salary? Can you remember? When this girl got her first pay, she remembered who? Daddy. Daddy. You don't forget daddy. You don't forget mommy. So she remembered daddy, how daddy grew in her house, grew up in her house, water falling, no bed, little facilities, amenities, and whatever, whatever. So she said, you know what? I will have to send some of my salary to my daddy. And she wrote a note, dear daddy, I'm sending this to you. I'm proud and happy to do so. Take it and buy good clothes for yourself. You go long time with sappy, raggedy. Buy good clothes for yourself. Eat well, look after the house, and I'll be happy. So he listened to her, he read a note, he started to cry. Some of us don't realize we can make our parents cry with joy and also cry in grief. Eh? Let us make them cry in joy, not in grief. So, next month, another note, another set of money. And so it continues. Until after a number of years, the money stopped coming, the notes stopped coming, so the father became worried. What has gone wrong? Is she ill? Has she died? Has she gone to another way? Has she forgotten me? Those are hard questions for a father to accept and answer. So, in the meantime, what had happened, this girl had lost her job. But we know what's going on in this place, all over. So that's how she didn't send any further money. So the father didn't know, so he said, I'm going to investigate. So he went to the city, he went to the school, he went to where she used to live, and he was told she's not here. So they found out the last address, and so he went. When he went now, not familiar with the environment, he was going up the staircase, and he saw a girl, but her head was covered. And she saw a man, but his head was bent. And they did not recognize each other. So, eventually, I'll have to conclude the story in this way. He was told when he went inside the room that this is so-and-so and that is so-and-so. So she realized who the man was and he realized who the girl was. She went down. The staircase, because he couldn't use the escalator and elevator and thing. And she saw this man walking feebly. And she's called out, Daddy. Daddy, it's your daughter. I'm here to see you. You have not been responding. I've been sending the money. I've been sending letters. What has happened? Then he heard the word daughter. And I can tell you something. Eh? Ask anybody who just had a baby or a child. When that child says, Ma, 
it melts your heart. Or you say, Pa, when that child speaks, that voice has power, has emotion, has meaning. And so, when she heard that, when he heard that, he stopped and looked up. And what he saw is what every parent would like to see as often as possible. The face of your daughter. The face of your child. And when she looked, it was the face of her father. So she rushed down and he tried to run up and they hugged each other and how they felt and what happened there, I leave it to your imagination. So, we still have one question to answer. Daddy, you're still in a sapat. You're still in old clothes, rug, rugs, uh, rag, uh, what do you call it? Ragged clothes. Why? You ain't shave. And I will send money for you every month, Daddy. What did you do with it? Why didn't you spend it behind yourself and I left a note for you? Daddy, and don't tell me you have somebody else. Eh? Now, you know how people think nowadays. And not only think, do it. Not only think, but do it. So, he said, Betty, none of that. The money you sent, I never spent a cent from it. He dipped his hand in his pocket, a old dirty envelope. He pulled it on and said, my daughter, this is for you. So she looked in his dirty envelope. Why did this man give me away? And he began to walk. He didn't stay at all. And when she opened the envelope, every single rupee or cent or whatever term you wish to use, he had, she had sent for him. He had saved it. For he knew that one day his daughter will need that. And that was the day she needed it. That's what parents do. That is sacrifices they make. That's what they do. Why would I why spend on myself? I say for my children, I want the best for them. Isn't that what we all want? And so, not a cent was spent. When she saw that, her heart melted. She ran down and hugged him. And again, how a daughter will hug a father, I leave it to imagination. That is what good fatherhood is about. Inder was such a father. And much, much more. Based on what you all said. I know, isn't that so? I said, you up to school every morning? Oh no, you should drop a farina to work every morning. Look at that. And she married, she had a husband. But yet he would find the time to drop you to work. Love a father-in-law for his daughter-in-law. And now you all are repaying that. Continue to live like that. All of you. So, somebody said you have big shoes to fill. Well, fine. Please do. The temple is there, Rajiv. Vivek is there. And other, right, Farina? So we hope to see you all as the time goes by. And so at this point, we could talk on and on and on, but in this occasion, what matters is prayers. So I ask you to join with me as I glorify Divine Father, Supreme Force Almighty, the giver of life. Remember, parents gave us birth. Parents never gave us life. They could sustain life, prolong life. Parents gave us birth, but God give us life. I want to praise him and thank him for the gift of life. So let's join together. Now, before I say it, let me quickly say that I was about to sing this song. This song I heard from my father, and incidentally, my father was his guru. And he had tremendous love and respect for the late Shankaracharya. There's no doubt about it. He would always say, my guru this, my guru that. At least to me, I don't know about you. So, I will sing this song which I heard from Guruji, from my father, which is his guru. O Prabhuji Tere Charan Kamal Balihari Tum Pitu Mata Vishwa Vidhata Sakalai Jagat Pratipal Prabhu ji teri charan kamal bali Ghat ghat gami antarayami Sakal bhuvan yadhar Prabhu ji teri charan Kamala Balihari, 
रचना सारी अच रज भारी सकल जन्म उपकार प्रभु जी तेरे चरण कमल बलि ब्रह्मानंद सब सुख कंडा सुन लो मेरी पुकार हो सुन लो हा सुन लो मेरी पुकार प्रभु जी तेरे चरण कमल बलि कमल बले हारी कमल बले हारी कमल बले हारी कमल बले हारी प्रभु जी तेरे चरण कमल बले ओ प्रभु जी तेरे चरण कमल बले हारी ओम हे राम पुरुषोत्तम नर हरे नारायण केशव गोविंद गरुध्वज गुण निधे दामोदर माधव हे कृष्ण कमलापते यरुपते सीतापते श्रीपते वैकुंठाधिपते चराचरपते लक्ष्मीपते पाहिमा ओम मंगल भगवान विष्णु मंगल गरुध्वज मंगल पुंदरी काक्ष मंगलायतनुहरी ओम कृष्ण कृष्ण महायोगिन भक्ता नाम भयंकर गोविंद परमानंद सर्वेव शनया नमो ब्रह्मंदेवाय गौ ब्राह्मणिताय चगदिताय कृष्णाय गोविंदय नमो नम ओम नादिनो देवा शंचक्राधर अक्षय पुनरीकाक्ष प्रेत मोक्ष प्ररोभव ताय च पिताय बंधो सखा विद्यावम देव देवा ओम शांति 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 पंच तत्व शांति आत्मा शांति राम नाम सत्य है बोले से स्वाहा माता की जय सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय सो एट दिस पॉइंट दो सो वो लाइट अवर व्यू ऑफ द बॉडी बिकॉज यू ऑन एबल डू सो बिफोर वी इन्वाइटेड सो डू एंड इफ यू विश टू ऑफ अवर फ्लावर वी हैव मोर फ्लावर्स राइट and mala we invite us so do so believe this 5 10 minutes for you and then we shall proceed thank you everybody for your presence and for your show of support and sympathy for this wonderful family
So at this point, we're making preparations to leave. But before we do so, Radhika, are you satisfied? Are you okay? I know it could never be enough and it could never, you know, whatever. But we want to know that you, at least there is some bit of satisfaction that you have done the best for your husband. You gave him a wonderful send-off. And now you, when they are all finished, you offer that. You want to offer that? Yeah, you go ahead. Once you are satisfied and we'll be we, we okay, we'll move on. All right? Say you're praying your own way. Let me you take care of yourself and the children and you can't just serve the Lord. Somebody there with her, somebody. You take how much time you want. You say how long you want. Thank you.